Good morning, Asia. Welcome to the Asian preview, the North American wrap. We're uh, friends at Privateer FX. Let's get right to the charts. It was uh, <laughs> quite a day, uh, nonsensical. But let's just go to the, let's take a look at some hourly charts so I can show you what exactly happened. So here we are. Uh, this is Australian dollar trending lower, lower. You know, dollar. There was some early dollar strength in uh, in Asia and in Europe. Here's the FOMC minute bar. I don't even need to go to like a 15 minute. The FOMC minutes came out. We all agreed that it was a complete non-event. Really, no new information whatsoever. What do they do? They sold dollars. So in this case, they bought Aussie. They bought it from the open, which was down at 78. 35 area, it goes up to 7880, just shy of the 200 hour moving average. And you can see on this hourly, again, this is an hourly chart, complete massive outside reversal hour lower, bearish engulfing, whatever you want to call it, and then closed on the lows of the day. Euro dollar, similar chart, huge long wick here, um, up to 123.60. Again, failed to get up to we were looking we were we had some offers up here at like 70 75 and euro failed straight down <clears throat> new low for the day new low for this entire move uh, cable same deal every one of these dollar charts kiwi massive i mean this is a massive bar 73 40 45 level all the way up to 85 it's a big move half percent straight move up I mean, we can pop over and take a look at uh, what the S&Ps did on the hourly. Here's the, F, here's the minutes bar right here after a, a doji-ish type bar there. Went all the way back up. I'll pop over the daily in a second and then just basically collapsed 50 handles. Um, let's take a look at the daily S&P bar because this is interesting. Um, remember this fib that we talked about, this two-thirds fibs, 27.45 area? Well, the last three days, the high, 47.75, 47.75, 47.75. That's cute. That is really cute. And we, so it's not an engulfing bar, but we did, it is close to an outside reversal slash bearish engulfing bar. Closed here, just off the lows. Bit heavy here to start the uh, <clears throat> to start the Asian session. Um, pop back over to the currencies, dollar yen. Um, you know, dollar yen had another strong day, so it's been up four days in a row, and uh, was following the bond yields. Uh, bond yields actually took out last week's highs. The ten years got up to uh, I believe it was like two ninety five ish, and that was you know that's one of the reasons. You know, the initial reaction on the FOMC minutes was a dovish reaction, which I didn't get. We read through everything. We saw nothing that was dovish. We didn't really see anything that was hawkish. Uneventful. Bonds started getting hit really hard. Yields were rallying. The dollar caught a bid. Uh, this is why things like Aussie and Kiwi got hit so hard. Um, and then dollar yen, you know, Closed up here at 107.75. Couldn't make a new high. The high in, in Europe was 90. Um, 108.02 is a level that we're looking to fade. Now it's actually coming off a little bit here in Asia. Um, you know, looks to me like it could be some cross yen on, on, on a little bit of risk off. So Aussie yen. Let's see what that. Let's see where that is. It's doing there. You know, approaching these daily lows. You know, so for me. I remain bearish sterling yen hasn't really worked at all. Um, you know, this day here on the 20th kind of hurt. You know, things were looking pretty good for a while here. We had this big doji, a couple down days, then, you know, it's base. But um, I do still think that the yen crosses can come under pressure. Dollar yen seems a little bit high to me, and I think that uh, with the Aussie and Kiwi and CAD selling, Here's a CAD yen, We've had two doji days in a row, a lot of indecision down here. This has to resolve itself soon. Um, 
you know, they were take out these lows or we take out these highs up here at 82.25. As far as economic data goes, um, we've got the ECB minutes is the highlight. There's really nothing coming out in Asia. We do have uh, sterling GDP, the UK GDP tomorrow, preliminary number. But the ECB minutes, if you remember, we'll pop over here to a uh, daily euro dollar chart. Uh, I was over in London visiting uh, visiting the office over there, and I believe it was this day here on the 12th, January 12th, ECB minutes, market perceived it as hawkish. If you remember, we had these old highs. Let me scroll out a little bit. Here are these old highs, 129. This was the technical break that was golden. And we literally haven't looked back since. We broke 120.90. We closed the ECB minutes day at 121, 122 of the figure, basically. And, uh, you know, consolidated a little bit and then we ran up to the highs. Remember this 125.38 high, back down here to 122 the figure. Took out that high bearish engulfing last Friday. Now we're retracing some of this. So, you can see here where we have stopped this 122.80 is, is the three-quarter Fibo. Uh, this looks like it, you know, maybe it holds, get a little bit of a bounce. But the market will be paying close attention to the ECB minutes. I think Draghi comes out sounding um, less hawkish than last minutes, uh, or at least the, the minutes will sound less hawkish. And, you know, he's not happy with this recent, the ECB is not happy with the recent Euro strength. And with some of the comments from the U.S. and talking about a weaker U.S. dollar. So um, maybe the market's getting a little bit of ahead of itself, but, you know, the, the Euro is under some pressure. I think the risk is to the downside. And, you know, there's no reason we can't go back down to this old low 122, the figure after the minutes if there's some pushback on the recent euro strength i think they will um they will speak about that and their concern about euro strength and its effect on inflation so anyhow enough uh, macroeconomics for me highlight uk gdp ecb minutes nothing all that important coming out of the u.s tomorrow Good luck today, and uh, keep uh, an eye out for us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.